in the present video titled magnetic effects of current part 1 we will be dealing with the discovery of magnetic effect of current the discovery of magnetic effect of current is attributed to a simple experimental setup shown here the experiment was conducted by orsted normally a magnetic compass when freely suspended points in north south direction for the purpose we have drawn this magnetic compass the shaded part is north pole and the blank part is south pole and these are the directions marked as you can see the compass is pointing in south to north direction however if a current carrying conductor is brought close to the compass the compass immediately gets deflected that is the compass rotates showing that the current carrying conductor it produces magnetic effect so the oersted experiment leads us to an important discovery a magnetic compass placed close to a current carrying conductor gets deflected which implies that magnetic field exists around the current carrying conductor now the direction of the deflection of magnetic compass could be predicted by using snow rule here the first two letters s n indicate direction of current the third letter indicates the position of the conductor with respect to the compass and this last letter w indicates the direction of deflection of the north pole so according to the snow rule if current in a conductor flows from south to north as you can see here current is from south to north this is south to north current is from south to north in a conductor held over o means over the compass the conductor is over it could have been under but here it is over the compass the north pole is deflected towards west the north pole is deflected towards west you can see west here the north is deflected to west so this is a historic experiment which led to discovery of the magnetic effect of current now what is the direction of magnetic field by convention the direction of magnetic field is taken to be same in which a north pole experiences a force here the north pole experiences a force in this direction towards west so this also indicates the direction of the magnetic field at this particular point we have a rule given by ampere we call it ampere's right hand thumb rule which gives direction of magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor the rule states hold the conductor in right hand with thumb along direction of current then the fingers of right hand curl along the direction of the magnetic field the rule is illustrated in this diagram here we have a conductor state conductor carrying current in upward direction this is right hand the conductor is held in right hand and the thumb is pointing upwards that is the direction of current as required by ampere's right hand rule the fingers curling here gave the direction of the magnetic field due to the current carrying conductor it's further less illustrated here we have the conductor perpendicular to this plane using the same uh, rule the right hand rule you get the direction of current shown by concentric circles with center at the conductor now one thing must be remembered here the direction of magnetic field at a point is along tangent to these circular paths that is if you have this point this is a point which is to the right of the conductor here the field will be directed into the board here a point which is to the left of the conductor the field will be directed outwards and for a point here in front of the conductor the field will be towards right and behind the conductor it will be towards left so every point you have to draw a tangent to get the direction of the 
magnetic field. For circular conductors, supposing the current is passing through a circular conductor, we apply Ampere's law which is uh, uh, in a way simpler. You can curl the fingers along the current. So fingers curling in this direction, thumb will naturally point in upward direction. So this gives you the direction of the magnetic field. So for circular conductor, use right hand with the fingers curling along the current. Then the thumb gives the direction of the magnetic field. The magnitude of the magnetic field due to current carrying element is given by Biot-Sauer law. The law gives magnetic field due to a very small element of a current carrying conductor. For example, if you have a current carrying conductor here, we take a small element of length dl as shown. The magnetic field at a point P due to this small element according to Biot-Sauer law is proportional to I. dV denotes the magnetic field intensity at P due to this element. It's proportional to I that is more the current more the field. Proportional to dL the length of the element. Proportional to sin theta where theta is angle between dL vector along current and the position vector of point P with respect to center of the element. So proportional to I, proportional to dL, proportional to sin theta and also varies inversely as square of the distance from the element. Combining the factors we get dB proportional to I dL sin theta over R square or dB equal to mu naught over 4 pi this is the constant which is required to change proportionality to equation I dL sin theta over R square the constant mu naught is called magnetic permeability and the value of mu naught over 4 pi is 10 to the power minus 7 tesla per ampere into meter for free space or vacuum. The direction of the magnetic field we get from the vector form of Biot-Sauer law according to which dB vector is mu naught i over 4 pi r square dl cross unit vector r or you can write it as mu naught i dl vector cross r vector over 4 pi r cube. Here we have multiplied this equation by r and divided by r. That is why this unit vector changes to r vector and r square changes to r cube. The direction of db is given by dl cross r according to the right hand rule which we apply to dl cross r. So in this diagram which we have illustrated here dl is this element and r is this vector. If you apply right hand rule here to dl cross r that is curl the fingers of right hand from dl to r through this angle theta dl to r through the angle theta. Here the fingers of your right hand will be clockwise. The thumb will point away from the reader that is towards the board. The direction of magnetic field due to element at P therefore is directed into the whiteboard. Remember dB is perpendicular to the plane of dL and R. So dL and dB are perpendicular, R and dB are perpendicular. So we get two pairs of perpendicular vectors here db and dl, db and r. The law, Biot-Sauer law can be further used to find the magnetic field due to symmetric current carrying elements as we will study in next part of this video.